In this video, I'm going to describe how you can run a simulation using the Flood Modeler API. So on the screen here, I'm using a software called VS Code, and I've already got the API installed and I've got an interactive console. So to start with, we need to import the IEF class. So I'm going to type in from Flood Modeler API, import IEF, just like that. And that's done. So now I need to read in a, an IEF file that I want to use. So I'm going to use this demo data here. Um, so I just need to get up the file path. So I'm going to copy the, the path here and I'm going to create my uh, IEF instance by reading that in. Now to set a simulation running, it's as simple as calling the simulate method on the IEF object. So I'm going to run that and you should see it will automatically um, trigger Flood Modeler to start running the simulation. So just while that's initializing, um, just to recap what I've done so far in the code, um, I've imported the IEF class from the from Flood Modeler API. So this is what we use to work with IEF files. I then pass the path to my IEF into that class. And here I've just saved it into a new variable called IEF. And with this variable, I'm able to run the simulate method. So you don't have to run it in an interactive way like this. This could be a script that's um, running in a different way, but this is a good way of uh, demonstrating it. So firstly, if, you're, um, if you have run licenses available in your organization, um, this will automatically pick up the run license first. Uh, so run licenses are a new feature for Flow Modeler that are great as they allow you to increase the number of concurrent simulations across your entire organization. Um, so it lets us run uh, simulations for a lower cost um, because we're able to run them without going through the, the normal um, user interface licenses. So this is set running now and we can see we're also tracking that progress um, in the API. So at this point we've run a simulation but to go a bit further we can also access the results. So when we use the API, let's create a new variable and we'll use the method called get results. Um, VS Code is great software because it uh, has a lot of prompts as well. So you don't have to remember the syntax all the time. So I'm going to use the get results method here and that's going to create my results object, which is our ZZN class. So at this point, we can access um, the data using two data frame. And this would provide us a data frame of all the available results from that simulation. Um, and if we want to filter that um, to something a bit more specific, we could specify we only want the variable flow, for example. We can also then uh, since this is a, a pandas data frame, um, we can go ahead and, and use any other tools that we want. Um, in this case, if I just want to access the first five nodes, um, I can just run it like this. And this will give me the flow for the first five nodes. And also if we want to plot it, we can um, pass it into any plotting library we want. In this case, I've got the plotting library set to use um, a library called Plotly. Um, which is great for interactive charts. So this is the, the simulation we've just run and we can visualize this interactive chart where we can zoom in and uh, move around and see what the results are like. As well as the results, we can also access the log. So if we run if.getLog, this will give us that um, sort of diagnostics of the simulation. So we can access sort of the, the summaries by typing in log.info. This will give us all sorts of summary information about the simulation. Um, or alternatively, we can also access specific things like the, the convergence. And we, again, we can plot that. And now we have a nice interactive chart showing the, uh, the convergence for flow and level for that simulation. So there's a lot more we can go from here. And, and of course, 
we don't need to be running the API in this sort of interactive way. We can also set up scripts that automate all sorts of things. Um, so if you want any more information on uh, the run licenses, you can find that at the Plum Modeler website. Um, and for more information about the API and what you can do, then just go to uh, api.plumbmodeler.com. Thank you.